The Science Behind Sight by Louise Spilsbury Seeing Things Think about how you are reading the words on this page. You can read these words because your eyes can see. Seeing things helps us find out about the world around us. The Sense of Sight We have five senses to help us understand our world. Sight, smell, touch, hearing, and taste. Sight is very important. It shows us sizes, shapes, and colors. It tells us where we are going and how far away things are. It helps us read, play, learn, watch things, and more. Light and Dark We can see when it is light, but it is hard to see well in the dark. When we go into a room with no lights or windows, it is dark. The room and the things in it look black because there is no light to help us see them. Light gives us sight. We can see the trees in this forest because of the sunlight shining on them. Light and Sight When it is dark at bedtime and you want to read, you turn your lamp on. We use light from lamps to see when it is dark. Luminous Things Things that give off light are luminous. The sun is luminous. We use light from the sun to see things during the day. Lamps, fires, televisions, and flashlights are luminous too. Making Shadows Light from luminous objects travels in straight lines. It can move through clear things such as air, water, and glass. That is how windows let light inside our homes so we can see. We say clear things are transparent. If you close your curtains, you stop light from getting inside. The curtains are opaque. Opaque things do not let light through. When light cannot pass through something, it can create a shadow. Light passes through clear glass. Light cannot pass through a tree. We see things when they give off light or when light bounces off them. Reflecting Light We see luminous objects because they give off light. However, most things we see are not luminous. Tables, chairs, soccer balls, and fields do not give off light. Instead, they reflect it. Light bounces off surfaces and objects around us, and we see them when some of that reflected light enters our eyes. More light, more sight. We can see better when it is lighter. When you are in a dark room, a candle illuminates only a small area. But if you turn on a ceiling light, it lights up the whole room. Some surfaces reflect light better than others. Black fabric does not reflect light well. Light reflects best off shiny surfaces, such as mirrors. A candle only lights a small space. If you want more light, you have to light more candles. How Eyes Work An eye is shaped like a round ball. Most of it is inside your head. Do you know what the outer parts of the eye, the parts that you can see, do? Eye care. Eyelids can close quickly to protect your eyes. When an eyelid blinks, it washes the surface of the eye with tears. Tears wash dust and other things off the eye. Tears leave your eye through a tiny tube called a tear duct. Letting in light. The colored part of your eye is the iris. The black spot in the middle of the iris is an opening called the pupil. The pupil lets light into the eye. In bright light, your eye needs to take in less light, so the pupil becomes smaller. In low light, the pupil becomes bigger to take in more light. Look at your eyes in a mirror and then close them. Open them quickly to see your pupils get smaller in bright light. These are the outer parts of eyelid, pupil, iris, tear duct, light, and lenses. Light passes into the eye through a lens. 
A lens works a bit like a magnifying glass. When you look through a magnifying glass, it makes things very clear. In the same way, the lens focuses light so the image that we see is clear. It focuses the image onto the retina. The retina is the surface at the back of the eyeball. The image that the lens sends to the retina is upside down. The brain turns it the right way up so we know what we're looking at. Light from an object passes through the lens of the eye and is focused on the retina. Retina Optic nerve Lens Messages to the brain The retina sends messages about what your eyes see to your brain. First, it changes the colors and shapes in the image into millions of signals. Then, it sends these signals to the brain along a pathway called the optic nerve. The brain figures out what the signals mean. Lens and distance. Look away from this book and focus on something far away. You will not feel it, but the shape of your lenses changes. The lens becomes thinner when the eye looks at things close up, and it becomes thicker when the eye looks at things far away. When you look at things far away, the lens in your eye changes shape. Seeing far. Seeing near. Animal sight. Some animals see the world in a different way than we do. Our eyes are on the front of our heads. Rabbits and horses have eyes on the sides of their heads. What is the difference? Eyes at the front. Close one eye and try to touch the ends of two pencils together. Why is it so hard? With only one eye, you cannot judge exactly how far away things are. With two eyes at the front, each eye sees a slightly different view. The brain compares the two views to figure out exactly how far away something is and how fast it is moving. Field of Vision A lion's eyes see what is straight ahead of it. Foxes, lions, and most other predators, animals that hunt other animals, have two eyes on the front of their head, like us. This helps them to hunt and catch animals. You cannot judge distance very well with just one eye. Try playing with a ball with one eye shut. You will find that you are more likely to get hit by the ball than catch it. Be careful not to hurt yourself. Eyes at the side. Animals with one eye on each side of their head can see when a predator comes up behind them. The downside is that the two eyes work separately. Because the images that the eyes see are so different, the brain cannot compare them to figure out exactly how far away things are. Field of Vision A water buffalo can spot things moving on all sides. Seeing at night. A cat's eyes glow in the dark because they have a part behind their retinas that works a bit like a mirror. It reflects light back onto the retina. Because more light is reflected onto the retina, the cat can see more. That is why cats and some other animals can see better in low light than we can. Pupil Power To let more light into your room, you open the curtains wide. When it is nearly dark, Cat's pupils open very wide to let as much light in as possible. In bright light, their pupils are very narrow. This stops their retinas from being hurt by too much light. Can you tell which of these cats is looking into bright light and which is looking into low light? Have you ever wondered why a cat's eyes glow in the dark? Wearing glasses. Some people wear glasses to help them see clearly. People who are nearsighted can see things that are close clearly, but things farther away look blurry. People who are farsighted can see things that are far away clearly, but things up close look blurry. Wearing glasses helps these people to see better. Refraction Put a straw in a glass of water and look at it from the side. At certain angles, the straw looks broken. That is because the water in the glass 
bends light as you are looking at it. Bending light is called refraction. Why do people need glasses? The lens in your eye refracts light to focus in on the retina. Sight problems happen when a person's lens does not refract light onto the retina properly. How do glasses work? Glasses and contact lenses work by refraction. Lenses in glasses are made from pieces of transparent plastic or glass. The pieces are curved so that the lenses can bend light. Lenses bend light to focus it on the right spot on the retina. This allows the wearer to see clearly. Glasses help some people to see better. Nearsighted. With nearsightedness, the lens focuses the image in front of the retina. Light, lens, retina. Distance from eye. Farsighted. With farsightedness, the lens focuses the image behind the retina. Light, lens, retina. Distance from eye. Concave lenses. Concave lenses bend the light outward to help the lens focus the image on the retina. Light, retina. Convex lenses. Convex lenses bend the light inward to help the lens focus the image on the retina. Light, retina.